Monsieur, là, vous travaillez. Euh, nous nous regardons la télévision parce que nous sommes là. Les dupons arrivent dans une heure la sécurité de la village des sociaux. Nous sommes soit en glissant et puis j'ai encore dit toujours tout le temps. What you talking about? Security in Olympic villages. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Where about you from, pal? Ecuador. Where? Latin America. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, didn't know anyone still spoke Latin. Ha ha ha! The delegate from Australia. Oh, crikey, that's me. Woo. Yeah, hold your horses, let a man get organized. <coughs> Chairman of the International Olympic Federation. <coughs> Fellow members, wogs, spicks, thagos, greaseballs, krauts, assorted slaves, yids, jips, lebos, blackies and friends. I hope I haven't offended anyone by leaving them out. Well, today is a very proud day for me. It's not every day that a man's son turns 21... Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, here we are. <laughs> with the games barely a year away, you're no doubt flat tech trying to come up with a suitable venue. Now, we've heard a whisper that Korea might be on the list, but let's look at this objectively. They eat their dogs. Now, that's why we of the Dub A City Council have compiled this informative little film for years, the selection committee, to see what we have to offer as the host city of the 1988 Olympic Games. Uh, crank it up if you don't mind, Sambo. Oh, excuse me, gents. <laughs> Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Greetings, members of the International Olympic Committee. Dubbo, fat lamb and beef centre of Australia extends the rural hand of friendship. Facilities, <laughs> facilities here in Dubbo are second to none. Right now, I'm standing on our track and field centre, which as you can see is still well above water. Ah, uh, Mrs. Irene O'Doherty, Honorary Vice Head of the CWA, has graciously agreed for the marathon to be run through her bottom paddock, provided all gates are shut. <laughs> she and the ladies of the CWA have also arranged catering for the estimated three million visitors expected here in Dubbo. Uh, lady athletes, please bring a plate. <laughs> Cut, Jeff, you're wasting friggin' film. Number 24, number 24. Here in the beer garden of the world-renowned Dubbo Motor Lodge, athletes can think a few staminades and steroids after a hard day in the field. And if it's exhibition sports you're worried about, and who wouldn't be after that synchronised swimming fiasco in L.A.? A lot of poofs in a pool, if you ask me. Just hope they drain the water. All right, settle down, settle down. Dubbo offers a wide range of alternatives. Number 24, number 24, your mixed grill is ready. We've got rabbit skinning competitions, <coughs> cow dung kickoffs, <laughs> wolf throwing tournaments, <laughs> and of course, our very popular wet t shirt competitions. Number 24, number 24, come and get your friggin' snag. Oh, that's the truth, that's me. Look, uh, cut, Jeff, we'll finish this after lunch. So there you have it. <laughs> Our municipal incinerator stands ready to burn with the Olympic flame. Yes, Dubbo proudly awaits to hold high the sturdy flagpole of equality where every man and his missus can compete in an atmosphere of goodwill, friendliness and peace. Oh yeah, look, just one, one final thing. Uh, we prefer no blacks as they, uh, in our experience, they tend to drink a bit. I think you know what we mean. <laughs> All right, cut. Oh, God, I'm off for a bomb. <laughs>